is very clear that the relative risk of having a heart attack is significantly increased two to threefold in the context of diabetes. In relation to what's known about myocardial infarction and diabetes, I think the relative risk is very well appreciated as being incre increased in the context of diabetes. What is relatively less known is how the age of diabetes diagnosis uh, might influence the time course to diabetes. Uh, so this was a study specifically looking at uh, age of diagnosed diabetes and how this might give you a time course to developing a myocardial infarct. Oh, the key findings for this study of myocardial infarction diabetes was that overall the mean duration of years from diabetes diagnosis to infarction is approximately 18 years with no difference in male versus female. We then split the cohort into the mean age of diagnosis, which was 50 for diabetes, split, split it to diagnosed with diabetes below age 50 versus above age 50, and looked how that influenced the time course to myocardial infarction. In those who were diagnosed under age 50, uh, the mean time to infarction was 22 years, uh, versus in those who were diagnosed diabetes after age 50, where the mean uh, time course is approximately 14 years. How this study adds uh, to our body of knowledge is that it shows that people who get diagnosed with diabetes at an earlier age, for example in their 30s or 40s, have a greater duration of years in terms of time of developing myocardial infarction compared to someone developing diabetes later in life. However, given they start younger, they still have a myocardial infarct at a younger age, for example in their 50s or early 60s as opposed to a 60-year-old who might go on to develop an infarct in a shorter duration of time, but it would still be in their 70s. In terms of the you know, uh, clinical management of these patients, uh, we feel that this uh, information might be useful when trying to convey to patients what is a realistic time course to them sustaining a heart attack. Often we get asked in clinical scenarios by patients, you know, I have diabetes, how long would it take for me to develop a myocardial infarct? What is a realistic time course? So I think based on these data, this is a small data set, obviously we need to do a larger study, we can at least give people a rough idea when they're diagnosed at a certain decade, for example 30s, 40s, 50s, what is a realistic time course in terms of sustaining a myocardial infarct? In relation to your question regarding uh, providing a, a larger therapeutic window, it depends which way you look at it, but we would argue that younger people have heart attacks at a younger age, uh, but the duration between time of diagnosed diabetes and time of heart attack is still quite large, potentially 20 years plus. So we feel this might be useful to instill some confidence and optimism in patients that they still have time to act and modify their cardiovascular risk factors.